Hey everybody, welcome back to another fresh diecast review. This is Race Craze here with the next wave of the metal chassis 164 from 2021. Now, uh, you've probably seen some videos that came out in the last few days. Those have all been pre-recorded. I have been out snowmobiling. I just got back. It was exhausting, but in a great way. But it's time to get back down to business. So what we're looking at today is wave number two and a half, three and a half. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, technically three and a half maybe uh but anyway this is another 12 of the metal chassis 164 we've got them lined up here uh so we're gonna start from left to right um and then we'll just go through all of them one at a time so we're gonna get up nice close and personal here um we're gonna go ahead and do a two time zoom on my camera and wipe all the dust and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the brad keselowski keystone light ford mustang that ran in the coke 600 you can see we got our number two we got the keystone mountains you can see that where it says stone it looks a little weird that's because it's a can of keystone light um so that's where it's stone up there um we got the big white spoiler we got the ethanol ring freightliner snap on uh we got brad keselowski up there on the name rail a little crooked but it is on there um we go to the front of the car you can see we got keystone light again the the, the uh, beer can there uh we got mustang uh we got ford we've got the clear base also it is a beer sponsor so they put the clear base on it uh let's go around to the back side here you can see we've got keselowski we've got worth and we got keystone light again on the back over to the right side it is the same as the left we do have the mountains reminds me a lot of the coors car uh to have the mountains down along the base i think that's something that um you know it'd be nice to see the silver bullet come back but um you know definitely reminds me of that car and then we do also have the custom banner up there um sergeant mills or Mi millies miles sergeant miles maybe um but yeah so this ran at the coke 600 um and that's basically all there is to show on this car but yeah they ran this one at the coke 600 so uh the next one we're gonna see here is the cole custer code three um what is it code three associates i think yeah code three associates number 41 a very interesting paint scheme here you can see we've got the yellow numbers with the blue car kind of a weird setup of uh, colors it used to be kind of a black car you remember tony stewart winning in that um a couple times so it was a black car with yellow now we've got a blue car with some yellow numbers which looks very interesting i do like it but we got coat uh custer on the front windshield we got the yellow number 41 we got code three associates there Ford Mustang front end. You can see over here, we do have the black kind of starting at the back and going all the way to the back or front here along the skirt and then goes up. Uh, Code 3 Associates again. We got the number 41. On to the back, you can see we've got Custer on the rear windshield. We got Code 3 on the rear bumper and on the deck lid. Uh, we got Haas, the ethanol ring on this side here. Um, it said metal chassis, which means you got the rubber tires and stuff there. Uh, but yeah, so this is Cole Custer's, I believe, his second release for the 2021 cars. And it's a good looking paint scheme at that. So going on to our third car in the wave, it is the Kyle Busch M&M's, uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, competitive, I just hate losing, uh, I'm not, uh, what are these? Oh, M&M's Message, that's what it is. There you see it, the M&M's Message car. You can see we've got the regular looking left side here with that little messages right there on the back. Uh, you can see we've got the ethanol ring as well. Number 18 up there on the roof and on the side. On the front, we don't have the M&M's like normal. We just have, I'm not competitive, I just hate losing. And it's the M&M's Messages kind of campaign across the front there. Uh, we've got Kyle Busch on the front window. we got Rowdy above the name rail there. Uh, you can see back here, we've got, uh, what does that say? Thanks, awesome. Oh, thank, wait, wait, I am awesome? I'm not sure, it's weird. Uh, anyway, it says thanks as, as I am awesome or something. Uh, we got number 18 there, but you can see the M&Ms up front. You cover this up, it looks like a pretty normal 18 m &M side, just a little different there. A little different on the front and a little different on the back, so you can see, let me uh, sing it for you. Um, so M&M's messages, kind of a neat paint scheme, but I don't remember how often it ran. Uh, obviously it wasn't super memorable. It didn't win in it or anything, so it's nothing that uh, jumps out on me, I guess. Uh, the next one on our list here we're going to take a look at is the number one gear wrench Chevy Camaro for Kurt Busch, car he won with at Atlanta. It's not a race version. I'm just saying that this is the paint scheme he won with. Uh, the only downside is because it's no Monster Energy uh, because of the you know scale of the car monster energy doesn't want their their logos and stuff on cars uh but you do see we got the number one we got gear wrench you can see up here we got kurt bush on the name rail we also have his name on the front windshield got the bright gw on the hood there uh the flat orange and black really does come together very nicely i'm, I'm actually very happy these paint schemes look very nice uh so his atlanta wind should look really really good i can't wait to see what that looks like when it comes in um but definitely a very cool looking car here um 
with that gear wrench down the side there and a Cup Series logo over there. So very cool on the uh, on the metal chassis 164 to have the uh, the gear wrench car. It does look really sharp, but as you can see, there's definitely some monster logos missing because of the sponsorship deal that they have going there. But um, yeah, still a good looking car. I think it's his first car that go that got released as of the metal chassis era. Um, next car is going to be Eric Jones Petty Garage car here. You can see we've got the number 43 up there with the two swooshes. We got Petty's Garage. Uh, same thing on the hood there, Petty's Garage. We've got Jones on the front window. You can see we've got the number 43. Check it for Andretti. Uh, Jones on the rear window as well. Uh, there's our Camaro front end across there. And then you can see we do have the spoiler back here, Petty's Garage, uh, clear deck lid. On to the right side. Looks pretty much the same. Nothing too crazy happening over here. So uh, overall, good looking 164th, but it's not quite as good as the Armal car. Just saying. Uh, so the next one on our list here is going to be Ross Chastain's McDonald's car, and this thing pops. This is a bright red colored car. This thing just looks absolutely stellar, um, just in terms of color. Now, there's really no other font on it. You can see right here, we've got the arches, the arches, and the arches. And outside of that, there is no other words. One word here. We've got clover here and the ethanol ring. Other than that, you just have the number 42, Ross Chastain, and that's it arches everywhere um so you do have chastain on the windshield and front and rear windows um as i said we do have our number 42 uh up here up on the roof and on the sides um you can see it just from the front the arches really do look kind of nice they do have a kind of a weird look to them um but it looks like a very clean car um uh, i will say it's a little weird that the arch just stops and it's supposed to be, i think it's supposed to come back here or something but you can see it just kind of goes up there and stops at the window um, so I think that looks a little bit weird, kind of an odd design. Then you got the arches again on the back. So um, I see what they were trying to do with the arches as far as kind of making that the focal point of the car, just, you know, the McDonald's arches. But I don't know. It didn't, in my opinion, I just don't think it came through quite as good. And I, I think it needs a little more, uh, um, I don't know, a little bit more than just the red and yellow. It just, it's lacking a little something. Uh, that's the only way I can see it. I see it like this. It needs a little more something. Uh, but it's still a good-looking car. I think that's the second for the Chastains that we've seen. Uh, now, Denny Hamlin, we finally have a non-FedEx one. We've seen three so far. Office, uh, what is it, freight, office, and LTL or something? I don't remember. Uh, ground. But there, we finally get to see the offer pad car. So you can see here, we got the number 11 offer pad car. Um, we've got that orange, almost like a Miami Dolphins-looking car with that bright orange front to it. And then we kind of go to this teal blue, and then offer pad back here. Uh, we've got the ethanol ring there. Denny Hamlin up there on the roof, or sorry, on the name rail, 11 on the roof. Uh, Hamlin was on both windows there. Uh, we do have offer pad on the front. Go over to the right side, we got that bright blue skirt along the back and on the side there. Uh, short spoiler on this one. And then, uh, as I said, we do have the number 11 there. So obviously a really good looking car. It is also a Denny Hamlin uh, car that is not the white and purple FedEx car. So that's kind of a win in itself to get something a little different for Denny. Um, and of course he won at Darlington, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so the next one we're going to see on our list is going to be our first Alex Bowman car, and it's here. It's the purple. Just kidding. It's the purple and orange. It's the best friends ally car. See, so we've got Bowman above the front window and the rear window here. So above both windows, we have Bowman there. we got the number 48. We've got the best friends there. Um, we've got ally. You can see the number 48 on the roof here. And then from the front, it looks like the basic ally car where it's just that purple um, purple nose with the Ally logo, but it does kind of shift to that orange color. Get to the back here, it says uh, save them all, or hashtag save them all. And then you see it's got best friends. So obviously uh, Alex Bowman kind of made his dogs famous during the iRacing season, uh, or the COVID season, I should say, by having his dog on the iRacing seat. That was kind of a funny thing that uh, people got to know his dogs or got to at least kind of know their names. And, uh, you know, people love animals, so uh, myself included. But, yeah, they, uh, the Ally Best Friends car, not the prettiest looking paint scheme. I actually think the better the basic Ally car is going to look better, but uh, not quite in yet. Uh, next car on our list is going to be the number 20 Stanley Tools car for Christopher Bell. Uh, this car here uh, looks very, very sharp just for the sake of it's very clean. You can see right from the front, we do have Stanley across the nose, very open hood. we got a lot of space up here, um, but it does look very sharp. we got a very yellow car with just a couple of very clean stripes going to the back. Uh, you can see the number 20, little cat hair there. Um, you can see the number 20 there with the rubber tires in here, but just a very clean looking left side, very yellow all the way down the side. Um, I really like it. I think it looks very clean. We got Bell on the front and rear windows. Um, just from each angle you look at it, man, it, it looks really sharp um, with all that yellow on there. It just really comes together nicely. So, um, yeah, we do have that uh, Stanley Tools yellow there, which looks pretty nice. And so that one uh, is going to be our ninth one. 
Uh, number 10 on the list is going to be our first of the Darlington throwbacks. This is Martin Truex Jr.'s number 19 auto owners Darlington throwback. Not the raced version, just the basic paint scheme. Uh, but you can see it is matte black all over with the bright baby blue numbers. Looks very sharp. I'm a big fan of this color scheme. I just like black and baby blue. They fit together really nicely. Um, you got Bass Pro Shops, Auto Owners, Reesers, or Reeses? Reesers, Reesers, yeah, Reesers, I don't know, hard to say that name. Truex Jr. on both the windows, uh, we got our number 19, we do have the throwback tires, so this is the first time we'll see the throwback tires uh, on these, but definitely a sharp looking Martin Truex Jr. car, I think it's the third one they've released for him. And I am definitely a fan of that. Uh, next one is going to be Austin Dillon's first, the number three Bass Pro Shops car with the tracker boats here. Uh, you can see we've got uh, get what is that? Get Biofuel. We got Dow Tracker boats there. You can see the big Bass Pro Shops logo on the hood, along with this nice orange pinstriping there. Also down the side, we've got the black with a couple of stripes. Uh, bright yet orange roof up there with the number three. Uh, Bass Pro Shops and Tracker Boats on the back. And then you go to the right side, we got number three. Uh, we got Tracker Boats. A little mess up on the decal, it looks like, right there. Unfortunately, that's uh, all too common with um, with uh, Lionel. So, what are you going to do? Uh, we do have A. Dillon there on the front and rear windows. The good news is this one's going in uh, my little set, so the decal shouldn't mess it up for someone else. But, um, but yeah, so overall, it does a, is a good-looking paint scheme. I, he did win the duels in this scheme, but I don't think he won a race the rest of the year. So I do like the scheme. I think it's a really sharp scheme. It's hard not to like Bass Pro Shops. They just put out good paint schemes. It's like what they're known for. And last but not least, the last car in the list is our very first race win from 2021, the Michael McDowell Daytona 500 race win. We've got confetti on the splitter up front. We've got the dirt along the nose here. You can see the tape down there on the front of the grill. Uh, you can see we've got the piece of bear bond up here on the right front fender, number 34. Uh, you can see more bear bond here on the rear of the car. So we've got a decent amount of race damage over here on that car. We've got McDowell on the front window and on the rear window. A uh, little bit of confetti sprinkled about, and uh, we've got the big tall spoiler on the back. So uh, overall, our first race version is the Daytona 500. I think it looks really nice. Um, I think it's a good looking race version as is, but also it's just it just comes together really nicely, especially on the McDowell car here. So uh, overall, though, the the set is going to be um, let's see, I think they run fourteen ninety nine a piece. Uh, is what the price on these cars is. So they're a little high um, for a metal chassis, or for a 164th, I should say. The metal chassis is definitely a nice feature. Uh, obviously, I'm kind of a fan of quality, and I like the heavier uh, 124th cars. I also like the heavier 164th cars. It must just be kind of a, you know, something something that I like. I like something, like stuff heavy, except for snowmobiles when I'm digging them out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll zoom that out to one time zoom. There we go. So anyway, that is our set of 164th uh, metal chassis from this most recent group. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Check them out. They'll be on rasdiecast.com. You can check them out there. There should be at least a few available, I think, um, but they'll be over there. Um, other than that, though, that'll wrap up the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. This has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.